Amen. All right. Nobody's going to be here Wednesday. Amen. Hold up your hands. You're going to be here Wednesday. Amen. Amen. Wednesday night, we're going to talk about apostolic clothing. Amen. Come on. We are different. Amen. Amen. We just want what God wants. God said, I want you to talk to them about where clothes started. That was him. Praise God. How many believe we are a witness of what happened in the garden? Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise amen. The Lord. amen. And God has a beautiful, amen, garment that he purchased for us at Calvary. Right. And he wants to lay it over your soul forever. Amen. It's one size fits all. Right. It's for every nation, kindred, amen. tongue, praise hallelujah, amen. every soul. It's beautiful. And then he filled with the Holy Ghost. It's a beautiful, amen, treasured experience. Amen. Turn with me tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. And let's look at this um, tonight. And by shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love God. I love his church. Amen. Amen. How many just love what God loves? Amen. Amen. Praise God. And let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter number 6. By the way, this morning I was right. It was Luke chapter number 12. I must have been seeing double or something. Because I said, no, I'm usually on top of this. I said, I know where these things are. It was Luke 12 19. But just FYI. Hallelujah. Amen. So, amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And let's look at uh, the 19th verse. Amen. Amen. Let's look at verse 9. I like 9. I like this chapter. Amen. I just like the book. But we're going we're gonna to spare you here. But know ye not. We need, to we need to understand that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, that's soft men. Right. And soft men can't get into heaven. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Then, amen. Butchy women can't get into heaven either. Right. Right. Yeah. Come on. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Can I have can I have an amen? amen. I, I mean, well, praise the Lord. Praise amen. Lord. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise Let's Lord. look at this. Amen. It says, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves. Amen. That means you can't rob people. You can't rob God. Right. Come on. You can't rob your employer. Right. Come on. Come on. And the preacher don't need to rip off people by not telling them the truth. Right. Come on. Amen. Oh, I said thieves. Thieves. Amen. There's some there's spiritual thieves. Amen. There is. All right. Come on. Well, praise God. There was a man that was caught by some thieves and beat up and left. And thank God somebody from the church brought him. It was Jesus. Come on. Brought him to the end. Told the pastor to take care of him. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? So my, there's a preaching spirit here. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Nor abuser of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards. Amen. I mean, believe you got to quit your drinking. Yeah. You've got to start drinking from Joel's well. Amen. Joel's cell. Amen. Amen. Come on. That's the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you are washed. Woo! You are sanctified. Hallelujah. Set apart. But you are justified. Declared righteous. How? In the name of the Lord. We wash in Jesus' name. God set you apart by his name and his blood. Hallelujah. Amen. And by the spirit. That's water and spirit. Baptism. Amen. That sanctifies us. Hallelujah. Verse 11. Amen. Verse 19. What? Know you not that your 
body. If I say my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own. If I say I don't, amen, belong to the devil anymore. I don't belong, hallelujah, to anybody but God now. I am God's possession. For you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. Because he bought your body. Amen. He sanctified your spirit. Come on. He washed you. He enjoined his spirit with you. So you could be eternally his. He is the only thief that is coming. Hallelujah. For something he's paid for. When he comes, he's going to get what he has paid for. Amen. He's coming as a thief. He's going to come so silently and so, hallelujah, powerfully. Amen. Hallelujah. I was thinking the other day, amen, I was driving down the highway. There are going to be cars just. All right. Come on now. Because people are going to be raptured. There's a blood-bought people that are going to be taken from this earth. And there's going to be people behind them who go, did you see that? Let's follow. Amen. And when they get over to that truck or car, they're going to go, man, ain't nobody there. You say, is it going to happen? I tell you in the Holy Ghost this time. And what we are to those that are on an airplane where somebody that's flying that plane has got the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Come on, does anybody believe that we twins are alive and remain? Remain where? In the church, in the body, under the blood, full of the Holy Ghost. Shall we come together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air? So shall we ever be with the Lord. Once, once you've made it, your worries are over. Your trials are over. You're going to be like him. Amen. amen. He's, he's trying. Amen. And giving us power to be like him now. But we're going to be, amen, like him. Hallelujah. What a calling. Amen. One more, amen, verse of scripture. Thank you for standing. Hallelujah. One more verse found in the Old Testament. Proverbs chapter 23. And verse number 23. Familiar verse. Praise God. Is it all right if we read two verses? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Read it. Read it. Go ahead. Yeah. We're going to do it anyway. I just... Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, because this is, this is, amen, they're both needed. Amen. By the truth. If I say by the truth. By the truth. That don't just mean by a Bible. Right. That means sell out to God. Amen. Amen. Come on. Buy the truth and sell it not. What also should we be buying on the eternal commodity market? Wisdom, instruction, and understanding. Buy it. Hallelujah. Amen. Get wisdom. With all you're getting, get understanding. Amen. Love instruction because it's your life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 20. We're just going back. One more verse. Hallelujah. One more verse. I'm going to let you see this. 20 and verse 14. If you're there, say amen. 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 It is not. It is not. Saith the buyer. But when he is gone his way, then he boasts. He doesn't boast when he's ripping somebody off. Amen. Hallelujah. But when he's out of sight and out of mind, he boasts. Hallelujah. That he has caused someone. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. To make the wrong choice in the eternal market of life. Amen. And I want to preach on this tonight, everybody. 
Everybody that's baptized in Jesus' name has the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands and say, I am bought with a price. And I am not for sale. Say, I am not for sale. I am not for sale. I'm already bought. I say, I'm already bought. I'm not for sale. There's not a price tag on my soul. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout hallelujah with me. I want to help you tonight. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And God wants to help every one of us in this place tonight. Hallelujah. And I want to preach tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Not for sale. But I say I am not for sale. My body's not for sale. My salvation's not for sale. My seat in the church is not for sale. Come on. My place at the marriage supper of the Lamb is not. Come on, somebody. My place in the prayer room is not for sale. My place in the worship, come on, in worship is not for sale. My amen corner is not for sale. My amen is not for sale. Amen. Praise God. Would you pray with me for all that are in attendance in God's house tonight? Father, we thank you for the word of God tonight. I'm asking, Lord Jesus Christ, that you anoint my soul one more time. Help me deliver this message to the souls that are present here. And Lord, you bring all things to my remembrance. Help me to feed them. Help me, Lord Jesus Christ, to do your will tonight. And I pray that the hearer, Lord Jesus Christ, would do your will as well. God, oh, Father, we ask, Lord Jesus Christ, to give revelation in this place, give understanding, give wisdom, Give divine instruction through the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Master God, your touch tonight. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. This church needs a, a word from you. We're asking it and giving you the praise knowing how good you are. And the church said in Jesus' name. And let's applaud him. Let's reveal him. Let's honor him with our praise. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. For sale. My shout! Well, oh, come on now. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is a good, good God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And God bless you tonight and that you may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What we have read in our text tonight, amen, is a letter from the pen of Paul. Amen. Reminding the people of what they used to be. Amen. And how that through the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And through the Spirit of God, their names were put into the eternal will of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it took God bringing us to an apostolic church to hear this will read. Hallelujah. And what to do. Amen. The conditions of the will and what things need to be met so that we could be a part of, of this great eternal inheritance. Hallelujah. We have been washed in Jesus' name. We have been set apart in Jesus' name. We have been declared righteous by the mouth of God. Hallelujah. God has kissed our mouth with the Holy Ghost. We have the breath of God that has been breathed into us. And we have been given a Holy Ghost eternal language. Hallelujah. That God has given to us. Hallelujah. And I'm thankful for it tonight. Every time that I speak in tongues, I thank God that there is a resident called Jesus living in my body. Because now my body is not for fornication. It's not for the party world. My body is the temple. It's the very house of the living. Our God's not dead. He's alive. Hallelujah. He's not the God of the dead. He said, I'm the God of Abraham. Abraham's living. Isaac's living. Jack. I'm not the God of the dead. Never what? Amen. I'm the God of the living. This is living, folks. I said, this is living. When you wake up and Jesus is on your mind. Come on. When you go to bed and Jesus come. When you look at a sinner and you say, man, that's what I would be if we're not for the grace of God. Be some of good God. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And we are bought with the price. Hallelujah. Not of money, 
got a blood. Hallelujah. What is your soul worth? Your soul is worth dying for. I said, your soul, come on, somebody. Your soul was worth dying for. Amen. It took, amen, the substitutionary death of our God and Savior. Amen. Hallelujah. For us to be in church tonight. The sacrifice of his life. Amen. The spirit, the cruelty, everything that he did. Amen. He purchased us. He had redemption in him. He came to buy a church. I said he come to buy a church. He came to woo people in bloody garments. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And his name is called the Word of God. Hallelujah. We're going to heaven. But when we leave heaven, we here. He's got a, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. He's got a garment that has been dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. It's Jesus. And we live in the Word of God. We just that's where we're going. Amen. 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 Now, praise God. Hallelujah. So we need to understand the purpose of the creation of the human body. Amen. It was not, hallelujah, for fornication. Amen. Sexual desires were not to be fulfilled outside of marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. The body is not to be used by alcohol. It should be sanctified by God. Come on now. We need to live in a sobriety state. Hallelujah. Can you shout hallelujah? Amen. God wants people to understand the purpose of the human body. It's not for the pleasures of others. You are made by God and for God to be the temple of God. Hallelujah. So you can have joy forever. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, hallelujah, he expresses and shows what we used to be. And how many found yourself checking off several in that list? Yes, sir. Anybody? It's good to go back to the list and say, that's what I used to be. But by the blood, this is what I am. Paul said, by the grace of God, I am what I am. Hallelujah. How can he say that? Because he knew the I am. I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the light. I am the door. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Ooh, I started singing that song this morning. I am. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the great I am. Not the I was. There's a lot of people in this world that used to shine, but now there has been some words. Hallelujah. God lives forever. Come on. You need to get your lives up the eye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that what you were, you don't have to be because of who he is. Hallelujah. Amen. Then by the grace of God, you can say, I am that I am because of the I am. Let's clap our hands to the up in the Holy Ghost. Up in our preaching. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. We read, hallelujah, that we are to buy the truth and shall it not. We are to buy wisdom. Amen. We are to love instruction. We are to love understanding. Because happy is the man that findeth wisdom. The man that giveth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. What is wisdom and understanding? Hallelujah. You can't buy it with money. Hallelujah. But you can get it. Hallelujah. And after stuff, you can buy the truth and say, God, I want it. Hallelujah. I'm going to give my ears to you. I'm going to give my heart to you. Hallelujah. He wants to place divine wisdom. Hallelujah. And the merchandise. Hallelujah. Of his incomparable instruction within us. Amen. It states that length of days are in her right hand, speaking of eternity, and in her left hand. Hallelujah. The weak hand is riches and honor. Hallelujah. We need to get a right hand heal and get a hold of Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Don't let anybody take your crown. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody ever talk you out of coming to church. You need to talk them into coming to church. Amen. Praise God. 
raise the waves of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. And whatsoever thy hand find it to do, it said, do it with all your might. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. Because what God gave you, he wants you to get a hold of it and retain it and never let it go. You need to get a hold on by of this. You need to put some put some strength in this because this is the greatest pleasure that you have ever had or experienced and there are going to be thieves along the road hallelujah of life that are going to try to take it from you hallelujah but amen I'm not for sale and I'm going to fight for this I'm going to contend for this <laughs> amen hallelujah praise God I'm going to compassion about myself with songs of deliverance I'm going to build a wall of praise around me. I'm telling you, it works. Amen. Amen. It's true. It's true. Amen. Hallelujah. Complain a little while. And you're going to get the predators ears up and eyes open. But you start praising God. You know, praising God made the spirit, evil spirit that was in Saul leave when David played. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Music. You need to get the right kind of music. You need to get out of that music in your You need to get, come on. You need to get children that's full of the Holy Ghost. Whose body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Sing and praise unto God. Because that's a true worshiper. That's a, that's a true worshiper. You don't need to let somebody plant seed. Hallelujah. Amen. But you need to listen to episode of worship. Amen. Come on. Come on now. Amen. We don't need any songs that have any Trinitarian slant to that. Hallelujah. It needs to be exalted in the oneness of God. The name of Jesus. The blood. The church. Come on. It needs to be magnifying God. It ain't about our blessing. It's about God. Hallelujah. That's the blessing of heaven and earth with His great salvation. Well, can we clap our hands to the Lord? <laughs> Jesus, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We read, amen, the foolish young man that sold his honor for a whore. Gave his years to the cruel. It said the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb. Her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Amen. It says, remove thy way far from her. Come not nigh the door of her house, lest you give your honor to others. Don't trade your honor. Hallelujah. Amen. For five minutes of pleasure with somebody. Thy years unto the cruel, the strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of the stranger, and thou know at last, with my flesh and body are consumed, and say, How have I hated instruction and despised reproof? I didn't want nobody tell me what to do, and I thought it paid the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. Is it by the truth, by wisdom, by instruction, by understanding, and don't let anybody put a price tag upon your soul? Hallelujah! Your virtue is precious, your lady. Don't let some Prayer, take it away from you. Make it plain. Come on, say, make it plain, preacher. Hallelujah. Amen. And vice versa. Amen. Hallelujah. Both sexes are in the game. Hallelujah. Amen. That look at the human body far different than the way that God does. God loves the soul. God wants to keep you from heartache. He wants to keep you from the ears of the cruel. Come on. Hear this instruction here tonight. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Following certain pursuits, it says, their feet lay hold of hell. Hallelujah. Her guests are in the depths of hell. Right. Right. Amen. We need to understand, amen, hallelujah, that our salvation is not for sale. Jesus asked the question, we know it well. 
when you return to it often, what is the man profiting if you shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? There's nothing in this world, hallelujah, that you should trade your experience with God in. You will be tempted, but greater is he that is in you. Come on, and God deal with the temptation, with the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that it is time to tell us uh, there is no riches in this world. There's nothing in this world that compares to the birth of the eternal soul. We need to see our soul and its birth in the free eyes of the God that created it. Nobody knows. Amen. Like God knows. Nobody knows like someone that's filled with the Spirit of God. Amen. How precious. That soul really is. Hallelujah. Amen. Eve traded her paradise for a piece of fruit. Right. Samson traded his power for the kisses of an enemy called Delilah. Amen. Indians traded their furs for trinkets and amen. Braiding the blizzards, braiding the storms. Hallelujah. Amen. The swollen creeks working hard. Hallelujah. Amen. Things that were worth, amen, literally thousands of dollars on another market. They traded for something that was worth pennies. And that's what people do when they do not understand the worth of their place in an apostolic church. Don't let anybody with you up. Liar is going to come, come and he's going to say it's nothing. Oh, no, 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 it's nothing. Hallelujah. You can just get excited. Amen. As much over here as you can there. Come on. But when he goes his way, he says, I got it. I received it. I come on now. Go listen to that buyer. Listen to the buyer of your soul. Listen to the buyer. Hallelujah. They purchased you to bring suffering so you can be saved and not destroyed. Oh, let's clap our hands for the Lord. Esau traded his birthright for a bowl of beans. Amen. For an appetite. Amen. For something that hit his stomach and passed through. He traded off his birthright. And whether we like it or not, God said, Jacob, have I loved? But Esau, have I hated? Because Esau did not understand, amen, the worth of the birthright. And if you didn't understand, we need to understand, hallelujah, our birthright. We are deserved to be here. We like Jacob, this is our second birth. Come on, somebody. I said, come on, somebody. But we're not going to give up our birthright. We know you gotta be born again of his blood and his spirit. Nobody knows like you know where God found you. What you used to be. The misery, the suicide attempts, the suicidal thoughts. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How you put on the smile. But inside you will die. Right. Don't ever forget that. The devil wants to make you forget the misery that you had out there. Hallelujah. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done. Come on. Yeah. I want light to remind me. I want sinners to remind me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to have compassion on the sinner. I want to see a man who come to God. Hallelujah. Because they are one of the greatest life lessons for any one of us to observe. Hallelujah. Amen. And witnessing the true grace of God. Hallelujah. Looking at a soul that's a sinner. That's bound by sin. That's a mirror of our own image. If we had not been bought with the price. But once we have been bought with the price. Hallelujah. We need to understand. This blood is precious. It's priceless. You can't buy it. Come on, hallelujah. It's not being offered to everybody. There's 150,000 people slipping into eternity today within this 24 hour period. Hallelujah. Amen. We are a blessed people. We don't, we don't deserve to be in the church. But it ain't going to 
to stop me from God. I'm going to stop me from praising God. When I'm in trouble, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aging traded Jericho's triumphant victory for a wedge of gold and Babylonian garment, a city that the entire spoils will be given to the house of God. Amen. And he perished, and his family perished because he traded it for a wedge of gold that he never spent and a garment that he never wore. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. People have been ripped off through the ages. Come on. People have sold out sheep. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yes, somebody say, I'm not for sale. I'm not, I'm not for sale. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. Lot thought he was looking at paradise and he was looking at hell. It cost him his belongings. He lost everything. He lost his wife, almost his life. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. He should have stayed with Abraham. The best thing that ever happened to him was walking side by side with the father of the faithful. Hallelujah. He should have come. He made a bunch of striving, arguing punchmen. I need to separate him from one of the greatest men that ever lived on the face of the earth. And you're going to be tempted to come on, somebody. Out of heaven, he lost everything. And when he left Abraham, he was a wealthy man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He lost his belongings. And almost lost his soul. Judas failed his ministry, amen, and Savior for a few pieces of silver. Amen. Ananias and Sapphira sold their place in the kingdom of God for a few dollars. Amen. And they constructed it lie. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember I wrote this down. Amen. I remember, hallelujah, amen, reading this. Amen. Years ago, about a man that acted, asked an asked actress. Amen. Said, "Would you go to bed with me for a million dollars?" And she said, "Sure." He said, "Would you go to bed, Amen, for five hundred thousand?" She goes, "Yeah." And he said, "Would you go with me for ten dollars?" And she reared back to slap. She goes, "What kind of woman do you think I am?" And he says, I know what kind of woman you are. I just wanted to know, amen, just how low your price tag was. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. I can't, don't let anybody take your virtue. You know what God said about the young lady? He said, oh, man, get the hold of you. You better kick. You better scratch. You better do everything. thing. There better be some call my God because it's going to be a cry with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Why you preach on this? Because that was the spirit of the age. Because Satan is reminded of the human body that God came in. And every time he sees a human body, it reminds him, hallelujah, of the greatest loss that he has on planet Earth. And when he sees you full of the Holy Ghost, rejoicing, he knows that you're taking his place. He, come on now. He knows, hallelujah, that your body is being filled, hallelujah, with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You become God's property. So he, come on, he's angry with it. Hallelujah. He don't like it. But you better get to the place. Yeah, well, I don't care what you don't like. Hallelujah. I'm here to God. I'm not for sale. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. On the flip side of the coin, Joseph would not sell his dream. Amen. Joseph would not sell. Hallelujah. The spiritual revelation that God gave unto him. 
Hallelujah. Amen. It cost him separation from his family. Hallelujah. Through jealousy. It cost him 13 years of his life in prison because of a lie of Potiphar's wife when she tried to take his morality. Hallelujah. But one day Joseph, hallelujah, who would not sell his dream, went from prison to the king's house. In one day, can I tell you, in the state through of God, hallelujah, and then you can go from being an addict to the king's house. And one day we're going to go from the king's house to the king's mantle. We're going to go to a glorious place called heaven because we will not sell our dream. We will not sell our vision of heaven. Somebody clap your hands to the Lord. Moses created a palace for a relationship with God, choosing rather to suffer the afflictions for the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Hallelujah. Peter traded a fishing business, amen, for a ministry and an eternity with God. Ruth traded her Moabite idols for an inheritance with God's people and married the richest man in the land. Woo! Come on, somebody. She left it all behind. Come on, it doesn't matter what she leave behind. Hallelujah. God's always got something. God's always got something better. Hallelujah. Than what no one has. Than what Egypt. Hallelujah. In the shadow of the sphinxes and pyramids. Amen. Have. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Naboth would not sell his vineyard. Amen. It cost him his life at the hands of Jezebel. One of the Bible greats that was not for sale. Dreams that were not for sale. Hallelujah. Inheritances that were not for sale. Callings of God's people and being a part of the oneness movement that goes back, hallelujah, from Abraham through the lineage of the patriarchs unto Moses. Hallelujah. Amen. He traded a palace, but now he's got a greater place than what Egypt can put there. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You need to understand, I am not the same. Your hands to the Lord. See this sign? This is an old sign. It's just for sale. And the devil wants to pin it on you. Come on. What's your price? You need to sell it away. Come on. What's your price? Are you for sale? Come on. You Come on. I want to put this around you. You can go to a church where you don't have to. Come on. Are you for sale? He wants to put this around. Come on, somebody. He wants to put his for sale sign on you. For a soccer ball. For a football. For a corn stores. I'm going for sale. My family's going for sale. This church ain't for sale. This church is being bought with a price. Why are you running to share to the Hallelujah. Why are you coming? Come on, it's all total. Hallelujah. Amen. Give me that thing right there. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants to put this around your neck. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But you need to have a soul sign on you. Hallelujah. When you see a house that's got soul, that means somebody's fixing to move in there. Hallelujah, it's not only empty to Lord. To Lord, somebody. When somebody shows that blood, hallelujah, amen, it's going to have, hallelujah, amen, and heaven inside of this house. Hallelujah, this house has been sold. Hallelujah, purchased by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, you have been washed. You have been sanctified. You have been declared righteous by God. Hallelujah. If anybody knows the worth of the soul, it's God. And he says, this is the price that I'm going to pay. Hallelujah. In Egypt, miracles. Hallelujah. Didn't hear 
how to live with Pharaoh's hands ripped away from the bondage of Israel. It took the blood. I said it took the blood. It took the blood of the Lamb or the house to buy that house and to purchase. Hallelujah. Amen. A one night dedication and a plea from God with the blood I'm preaching about. Amen. There's an eternal blood. It's not just for one night and for God's wrath to pass over the house. To, hallelujah. But it's to make him a house for him. Let's talk to the Lord. Hallelujah, let's pray to God together. Hallelujah. We pray to the same I'm not for sale. I'm bought with a price. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love wisdom by truth. Amen. Love wisdom and instruction. So it's not 